know who you are. I'm Matt Rudebaker. I'm a junior. And why'd you hit me with the mic? Oh my God. But uh, you know, most people don't know who I am. <laughs> Dog, why would you do that? That's right, Stacy and Casey. I'm here outside of the new Beaver Dam High School's new million dollar facility. And the Dodgers, I must say, they put up a great fight today and came out with the win. I'm gonna go get a chance to talk to a couple of the players and you guys stay tuned because it's gonna be a great one. Hey, baby. Hey there, Stacy and Casey. I'm back out here on the diamond with Matt Rudebeer and he is on the road to becoming an All-State player. And today's stats prove that. 10 RBIs, 20 home runs, and man, please, Rudabir, tell us, how did you do this? Well, first off, by golly, my name is Rudabaker, but you know, all glory to God, you know, he helped me, he pushed me. Every, every day before this game, I, you know, I pray, and I have to ask him, and then also to my lovely parents out there, they push me every day. You know, it's great, it's just a great feeling. You know, your teammates talk very highly of you and players around the state actually hate you. But please, you know, what does this mean to you? I mean, it's great competition, you know. I, I just feel good and humble about it, you know. I'm just gonna let my game do the talking. You know, uh, kids over at Hoover Crest Dam were really talking badly about you, saying that, you know, your stats were fluffed. But today, you know, ABC News has came out here and you've proven it to us. So, you know, what do you have to say about that? I told you, my game doesn't speak in, you know? But, you know, I gotta be humble, you know? But it, I'll glory to my parents, man, because they pushed me since I was a toddler, man. They had me out there hitting, you know? It, it, it's just great, you know, it's a great feeling. I love you, mom and dad. And so, uh, for those fans out there who may not know who you are, um, you know, today, like I said, 10 RBIs, 20 home runs. Can you please tell the people who you are? I'm Matt Rudebaker, I'm a junior. And why'd you hit me with the mic? Oh my God. We have to wrap this interview up, but what is your future like, Rudabeer? You know, it's Rudabaker, please. And, um, you know, I'm a junior, but, you know, one more year of this good old baseball, I'm probably gonna go D1, you know? But I'm gonna be humble, you know, all glory to God. Okay, yeah, nobody cares. Back to you, Stacy and Casey. It's Rudabaker. <laughs> Hit me up. I'm about to be like Matt. I'm about to Thanks for you. sending it back to me, Stacy and Casey. Just a few minutes ago, we were talking to Matt Rudebaker, who had a phenomenal game today. Now we're out here with his older brother, who's on his sixth season of high school baseball, Jason Rudebaker. There's a lot of expectations for you this year. They're saying that you're going to actually get a chance to play out there on the diamond. Mm -hmm. Please tell me, what do you expect for your season this year? Well, we're about to ball out because my boy Matt is about to take us all away. Let's get it. Okay, but what is Jason going to do this year? I'm just going to follow Matt's lead, man. I'm going to get out there and play whenever coach puts me in because I'm good. I'm good like that, man. I'll be, my teammates, man, we're going we gonna to do good things, man. Matt Rudebaker is the best, though. Okay, so we've seen highlights of your previous years. You did get a chance to touch the diamond, what, your sophomore year? Yeah. And those highlights were not that great. What do you have to say for that, and what have you done to lift up that expectation? Well, you know, me and Matt, you know, I've been practicing with my brother. You know, he's helped me elevate my game because, you know, he's an all-stater, man. He's cold, but Hillcrest, we coming for you. Would you say that you've fallen short of your brother's legacy? I mean, you are the older brother. It's supposed to be the other way around. I know, I know, but, you know, Matt, he's just a gifted player, man. Can we stop talking about what Matt is doing? Can we talk about what Jason is doing? I'm trying, but Matt is just a phenomenal player. And I'm Stacy hey. and Casey, we're gonna bring it back to you because this guy just does not know what he wants to do with his life. Man, hold on. Oh, Matt's gonna oh, take us all the way. Stacy, Casey, I'm here on the opposing side of things where Matt Rudebaker has really given Hillcrest the whooping of one of the high school's worst timings ever. That makes no sense, but Stacy and Casey, I'm here on the opposing side of things where Steven Stinkleberry has really just let his emotions out. He's been out here throwing his bats, throwing his baseballs, and you know, if that was my son, I'd be happy for him because I want to see my son with emotion. And Steven Stinkleberry has it. Please tell me, with this whooping that you guys have taken today, what is your emotions? I'm pissed because we shouldn't have lost him. Rudebaker? He's trash. He's not really trash if he had 20 home runs and 10 RBIs. You guys couldn't stop him. Please don't touch my mic. Please. But tell us, 
what is your expectations following after today's game? Man, we're going to see them in the state championship game. We just had a bad game, man. My boy couldn't even throw a good strike. Do you guys really believe you guys are going to make it to states? You guys went 0-44 last season, and today you're starting off 0-1 oh with a God, horrible think? with a horrible start. Okay, you. just because we lost one game doesn't mean we're going to lose a whole season, bruh. You know what? I understand that, and I love that confidence. But what is Steven Stinkleberry going to do this year? I'm going to go make plays, man. I'm the best third baseman in the league, in the state. Do you really believe that? I know that. Boy, if you don't piss, though, we should have lost him. Freaking Rudebaker and his brother, other Rudebaker. Bro, he hasn't even played in two years. He's garbage. We shouldn't even lost his little brother. He's garbage, too. Pissed off. Well, Stacy and Casey, that's all the time that we have. Steven Stinkleberry is going to let things diffuse down a little bit. And, you know, that's all the time that we have. So uh, we're going to send it back to you guys at the studio.